Hello children! Do you want to have fun and learn while at home? Come and join Teacher Peter as we learn the mathematical concept of place value and value of digits up to 100,000. What is place value? Place value is the value of each digit in a number based from its position. Any digit in a number has its corresponding place value, namely ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, to further understand the concept of place value, I will show you something. Our place values are tens, tens hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. And this chart is called the place value chart. For example, I have 78. And number 78 has two digits. 8 and 7. Now, let's place each digit in the place value chart. What is the place value? of 8. It's in 1's. How about 7? It's in 10's. That gives us 78. Another example. I have 302. And 302 has 3 digits. 2, 0, and 3. Now, let's put its digit into the place value chart. The place value of 2 is 1's. How about 0? It's in 10's place. How about 3? Three? 3 should be placed in hundreds place. That gives us 302. Another example. I have 5,680. And 5,680 has four digits. 0, 8, 6, and 5. The place value of 0 is... Once, the place value of 8 is tens. The place value of 6 is hundreds. And the place value of 5 is thousands. This gives us 5,680. Another example. I have... 40,601 with 5 digits 1, 0, 6, 0, and 4. Let's put each digit into the place value chart. What is the place value of 1? It's in 1's place and 0 in 10's place. 6 in 200's place, ta a zero in 1000's place, and 4 in 10,000's place. This gives us 40,601. And as you notice, the higher the number becomes, the greater the place value of each digit. I hope that with the help of the place value chart, you now know how to identify the place value of the digit in a number. Now, 
I will be teaching you how to identify the value of the digit in a number. Let's have the number 78. What is the place value of 7? It's tens. Very good. So how do we get the value? Let's get this 7 and multiply it into 10 since it's in tens place. So 7 times 10 is 70. So the value of 7 is 70 and its place value is tens. Next number. 302. What is the place value of 2? It's in 1's place. Now, let's get the digit 2 and multiply it into 1 since it's in 1's place. 2 times 1 is 2. So, the place value of 2 is 1's and the value of digit 2 is 2. Next number. 5,680. What is the place value of 6? It's hundreds. And what is the value of 6? So, let's get 6 and multiply it into 100 since it's in hundreds place. 6 times 100 is 600. So the place value of 6 is hundreds and the value of 6 is 600. Last number, 40,601. I have zero. What is the place value of zero? It's thousands. And how do we get the value of zero? Let's get zero times one thousand since it's in thousands place. Zero times one thousand is Zero, because any number multiplied to zero is zero. That's how you get the value of a digit. Now, let's have some practice. In our practice, you're going to identify the place value and the value of the underlying digit in each number. So in your home, get some sheet of paper or a whiteboard and then divide it into three you're going to put your answers in each column are you ready yes all right for our first number 3712 identify the place value and the value of the digit three go Is up. The place value of the digit 3 is thousands. How about its value? It's 3,000 since the digit 3 is in the thousands place. For our next number, 501. Identify the place value and the value of the digit 5. Go! All right, time is up. The place value of the digit 5 is hundreds. How about its value? It's 500 since the digit 5 is in the hundreds place. Next number. 85,680. Identify the place value and the value of the digit 8. Go!
Alright, time is up. The place value of the digit 8 is 10 thousandths. And the value of the digit 8 is 80 thousand since the digit 8 is in the 10 thousand place. For our last number, we have 90,900. Identify the place value and the value of the digit 0, the first 0. Go! Alright, time is up. The place value of the first digit 0 is in 1's place. How about its value? Of course, it's 0. The value of it is still 0. I hope you've learned something for today. Now, let's proceed with our math challenge. Let us read and analyze the situation to solve the word problem. Aling Letty forgot the passcode of her mobile phone, but she is sure it is a six-digit number. Let's help her place them in their correct position. Can you help Aling Letty? Yes! Alright, let's go! Again, Aling Letty's mobile passcode has six-digit number. First, the digit 9 is in the hundreds place. So put digit 9 in the hundreds place. Second, the digit 4 is in the thousands place. Kindly put the digit 4 in the thousands place. Third, the hundred thousands digit has a value of 700,000. What digit should be placed in the hundred thousands? Fourth, the ones and tens digit means nothing. What digit means nothing? Kindly put it in the ones and tens place. Fifth, the ten, the ten thousands digit is equal to two plus three. What is two plus three? Put it in the ten thousands place. Do you have Aling Letty's mobile passcode? Let's see if we have the same answer. Again, the digit 9 is in the hundreds place. Do you have the same answer as this? Very good. Second, the digit 4 is in the thousands place. Do you have the same answer as this? Awesome! Third, the hundred thousands digit has a value of 700,000. What digit has a value of 700,000? Do you have the same answer as this? Very good! Next, the ones and tens digit means nothing. So your ones and tens should be the same. What digit means nothing? It's zero. 
lastly, the ten thousands digit is equal to two plus three. What is two plus three? It's five. So Aling Leti's mobile passcode is seven five four nine zero and zero. So Aling Leti can now use her mobile phone. I hope children, you've learned something for today. This is Teacher Peter. Goodbye.